everybody, welcome back. Okay, we've come to the final day. The final day, which is the number one British Isle Shave Soap, the number one Shavette, and the number one, uh, yeah, I guess those were the only two things, right? So anyhow, the reason why we chose those is I'll get to in a minute. Uh, I know it's a synthetic brush, but I had to. I soaked it in my cool little baby A&W root beer cup or glass. Some people have seen this. These are from way, way back. I think I had this in the 60s. That shows you how old I am. Okay, so we're using today for the brush, we're using a Teton uh, brush, synthetic. And the winner of the soap is Aaron Aromatics. Now, you can't get that in the United States unless you order it directly from the Scottish website. I will put a link down here. Uh, now, as far as the aftershave and EDT, you have to order through a different Scottish US website called Caledonia. I'll put that in the link as well. This by far is the finest British soap I've ever used. Now, you say British soap, everybody thinks London and main, you know, the main island of England. No, this comes from Scotland and it's the best performing soap. I think it's got the best, uh, the best scent. Uh, and there of, you know, there's two of them that I would recommend. One is called Locranza, which is the one we're using today. And then there's also, uh, Matry. Now these are very Scottish, very briny, very oceanic in nature. Uh, but they have some really wonderful scents. And I wanted to show you how easy this is to lather. Um, it's just super, super easy to lather. Uh, so this is the number one British hard soap and they last forever and they do have refills that you can get for these. Now, is it a little bit of a pain to get these to your house? Well, you just have to do the conversion from, uh, euros to, uh, you know, to dollars, but it does that for you. And the coolest part about these is these come in a faux uh, granite rock bowl. Now, these rocks are from the Aran region of uh, Scotland. So they're made to look like the, ro the rocks that you would uh, see uh, while along the beach while you're drinking a nice, nice Eilie Scotch or a space side if you prefer. Uh, and what's nice about this one is the this is a patchouli and anise, but there's also some salty, briny, smokiness to this as well. So we'll go ahead and get started uh, with our lathering. And then we'll go into the uh, shave at itself. But I wanted to show you how easily this stuff lathers off the bowl. You can obviously scoop some out uh, onto your uh, into your bowl if you want to do that. And here's a pro tip. <laughs> do not, do not drop that, this soap container on the, on the ground anywhere near your foot. Or I guarantee you that the next thing you'll be doing is you'll be going to the emergency room. Because this thing with the soap in it probably weighs four pounds. Yeah, probably four. In fact, let me get my engineer uh, to come over here and and tell me what they think this weighs. Engineer, oh engineer. You need a scale. <laughs> How much would you say that weighs? Three pounds, four pounds, five? Six. Six pounds. Oh, I'm gonna go measure it. Okay, she will be back in a moment to measure the exact weight of that rock that has your wonderful soap in it. So, is it, as you can see, it's still pretty, um, pretty pasty. But if you're planning on shaving with a DE, there is no way you're not gonna get this thick and cushiony enough for you. If you're shaving with a straight, you can thin it out and you can add as much water as you can. This soap um, uh, does lather well with both synthetic, uh, or badger, uh, even boar. Uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful soap. In fact, you can get an Aaron Aromatics uh, brush and it is natural. And it's from the wood of uh, driftwood from uh, the Aaron area. So it's really, really cool. And so you can see just by looking how beautiful this soap lathers. This is why 
uh, I chose it to be uh, number one. I'm a weak man. Two pounds. Okay, it weighs two pounds. And that was from our engineer. So, we will go ahead and get started. I'm filling up the water bowl. So, like I said, it's perfectly thick. Now, for the razor that we chose to be the number one Chevette, everybody knew what it was going to be. That's right, it is the Essence by Tedless. Having been a straight razor shaver for well over a decade now, uh, this is the closest to an actual straight razor that you will ever, ever get, in my opinion. The beauty of this razor is great. They actually call this purple carbon is the the name of the of the the because it does have a purple tinge to it the blade is just beautiful now the loading eh, a little bit of an issue but we'll go into that at the end of the shave but this uses again the good thing about this razor as opposed to some it'll use a feather style blade so that means your feathers your um schick pro lines your um uh your kai blades it'll also use a DE blade, a busted in half DE blade, if you want a shorter, and it'll use an injector blade. So all three blades can be used in this because it's held by super strong magnets. So I'll include, now he only made 333 of these. I've got three of them. I use one in the shop daily. That's how good I like, that's how much I trust this. It was bumped out of the way uh, from the Feather DX. But as far as the actual uh, look of the razor, how it feels as a razor, it almost uh, it, it almost uh, shows a profile of a quarter hollow. And it is just wonderfully balanced. I will tell you up front, it is made in China, but it is designed uh, in Europe and uh, Switzerland, as a matter of fact. And uh, But it is produced in China, but you know what? It's a very quality piece. Uh, 316L, I think it's 316L stainless steel. I don't think it's 440. Uh, a, a wonderful long monkey tail to put both hands on and just a pleasure to use. It is also the smoothest of... all the Chevettes that I've ever tried. Just wonderful to use. Now, I believe, I can't remember, but I believe this is my first usage of the third one because I took, I've got one, the one I had been using is in the archives, just in case. And this one is brand new. And then I have one that I use daily at the shop. And I have been, I'll be honest with you, I have been using it more and more for the actual straight shaves, uh, depending on the person's beard. And, uh, you know, for my basic econ economy shave, I use this. And then I break out the other straight razors, the real straight razors. Depending on the customer's preference. If he doesn't have a preference, I'll use this because it approximates the straight razor. Plus, if I'm doing a multitude of straight razor shaves in a day, uh, it's easy to change the blade out if I need to, but I can usually go five or six full client shaves before changing the blade. So I'd say I probably use this every day on the neck and around the ears um, after each haircut. And then for the straight shaves, I probably use this uh, maybe an eighth of the time. But by far, this is the smoothest of all the shavettes. And it should be noted that this soap, of all the soaps that I have in the den, this could very easily uh, be considered one of, if not the top soap in the den. Currently, the top soap in the den is CBL and his Orion. And all of his other ones are great too. Um, but this one could challenge it. Uh, but it won't because it's such, it's so hard. It's it's hard to get. Um, and I've got all the, all the shaving stuff that they offer except for after the rain. And I'm not sure if that's a unisex scent uh, or not, but uh, the 
the notes are great and you can find the the scents like i said on caledonia and i'll like i said i'll put those links uh, at the bottom the only negative thing to this razor is that the monkey tail is so long that when you're doing your ear to chin, you will sometimes bump into your, uh, into your neck area, um, depending on, you know, how much you can stretch and stuff like that. But I certainly hope that you guys have enjoyed this series. It's been fun to do. And like I said, the hardest, the hardest part of this uh, razor is doing this part. Now, I guess you could adjust it this way, but you're still going to hit it up against your chin. I like to have the stability of having it locked in, so I just adjust it accordingly. In fact, with this soap, I didn't even water it enough. And you saw how many times I watered it. I could have thinned it out a little bit more. And there is enough soap in that razor to shave for the next six days, I think. But I strongly suggest if you want to try something new and something different, that you definitely look at uh, Aaron is just wonderful um there's another scottish company uh i want to say it's scottish shave soaps i can't remember but i have not tried them yet and Aaron aromatics has a bunch of other stuff too Because I think, like, uh, Nurse David mentioned that a lot of these are small mom and pops that started with uh, doing shaving or um, other types of soaps and then have moved on to shaving items. And I think that's the same here. But everything in these soaps, I believe, is fairly natural. And it really does capture uh, Scotland, in my opinion. So it's definitely worth a try. And for what it's worth, like I said, this is the number one British hard soap. And could arguably be uh, the top soap in the den. Um, it's that good. And that's Unseating Panic Cream and Wabia Verde and uh, CBL Orion. It has not done that yet because I haven't really done a... Uh, a comparison looks like I caught myself right on the top of the lip. That's the third time I've done that this week because I think that there's a little angry follicle there. So, one of my viewers, Charles, um, as I've been doing these series based on what you viewers want to see. This one right here was a combination of Frank Alden and uh, Eric EMG06 over on the shaving cadre. So, next week, thanks to, uh, thanks to Charles, uh, his suggestion was that I have Mrs. Why, I did a number today. 
Mrs. Nurse, uh, Mrs. Nurse, <laughs> Mrs. Barbara Dave, choose my shaves for the next series, which will be Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. And I said, oh, that should be interesting. So she will be choosing the soap, the razor, the aftershave, the brush, and the fragrance. So that should be, that should actually be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. And as always, I want to thank everybody. Um, we're getting there. We're at 1,031 as of today, so 60 more, and you guys get a prize, maybe. We had a great uh, Drinks and Daves last night, probably the most interactive we've had, so make sure you come and check us out, and please, 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 subscribe over there. Uh... Next week's episode, before we take a little two-week hiatus, will be very interesting because it's, uh, for those of you that do not know, there's an app that was originally started for people to sell stuff. And unfortunately, it didn't end there. It uh, became an app that uh, you could be selling uh, a dog bowl. Let's just use that for an example. You could be selling a dog bowl and... Before you know it, the entire conversation has uh, devolved into something about uh, race, class, religion. Uh, somebody doesn't like this. Somebody doesn't like that. And all it was was a dog bowl for sale. So we're going to have some fun with that. And we will be reading excerpts from next door. Of course, we won't be putting people's names in, obviously. But uh, we'll have fun with that. So please join us and uh, bring your next door stories with you because uh, we do have our bar flies in our, in our lounge and they are becoming more and more active and we certainly appreciate it. That one got me a little bit. Probably because I was talking too much. Okay, for our uh, to go along with the patchouli, the anise, the salty briny, we're going to be using Quinn's lavender today. Just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. So uh, let me clean up the brush, and we'll go into loading the um, the essence. So again, our brush today was the uh, Teton, uh, just a wonderful brush. This was gifted to me by an old friend of ours by the name of uh, Scuttle Soap. So thank you so much for that. And uh, the razor again, the winner of the Shavette Shootout is the Essence by Tetalus. Now, I will tell you, this is not a cheap tool. This tool is north of $300 but it is worth every single penny. Uh, like I said, I got three of them. And then they no longer, or at least he's out of the stands, but definitely look into this. Uses multiple blades, and it's worth, uh, in my opinion, every single penny. Okay, for the soap, again, we used Aaron Aromatics. And this one we're using today is La Cranza. Uh, and we will uh, put the link to Aaron Aromatics and Caledonia uh, so you can get uh, both. Now, they don't have an aftershave. They have an aftershave balm. Now, this is very nice. Uh, I don't usually use balms in the summer months, but again, to go with that, and this is all you need. In fact, that's probably too much. Uh, I'll probably add a little bit of water because this emulsifies pretty quick, but it's got the same scent as the soap. Yeah, way too much. 
but it emulsifies very quick and it gives a nice base uh, to that uh, to add the uh, fragrance to. And the fragrance is an EDT, but it's an EDP strength. And again, Aaron Aromatics Locranza. Beautiful, beautiful presentation. Very plain, but uh, just wonderfully Scottish. So if you like, oh, when you, when you first get the whiff of this, because it's very strong. Oh, it smells boozy, oceany. It's just, it's just wonderful. Um, it, 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 yeah, if you, if you're a Scotch man, or if you're just a fan of, of oceanic, briny, uh, aquatics, you're going to love this. So, uh, I didn't use any talc today. Boy, that's odd. Usually I do that. But anyhow, that's it for today, guys. I certainly appreciate you joining us. We, uh, we really appreciate it. We had a lot of fun with this series. And again, next week, the series will be what would Barbara Dave's wife choose for three days? That should be an interesting one. Uh, so once again, I'm Barbara Dave. This has been Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. Come see us at the Cadre. Hope everybody has a great, great day and a wonderful week uh, going forward. Take care.